Hey guys, this is Christian with Dumblord, and today I'm going to take you through a, a little bit of a step-by-step -step process on how to customize a rod holder on your float tube. Alright, for this project there's going to be a couple things you're going to need. The drill with some drill bit. I'm not sure what the size is, but it's relatively big. We got your rod holder. This is a field and stream rod holder. Uh, we will be cutting into that with this drill bit. We have two backpack-like straps with clips. Both of them with clips. We've got some zip ties. These are 11 inch zip ties. A pen. My float tube has three chambers. It has the main chamber, which is the largest part of the float tube. It has a second chamber uh, for like your lower back support. And then your, your upper chamber for your upper back support. So it's three chambers, one, two, and three. What I'm going to do um, is take this chamber out. We'll go ahead and take that chamber out. This one's still inflated. So what I've done is I've cut here these little holes with an X-Acto knife, both on this flap, as well as this flap. Now because the float tube has this cylinder, this curved cylinder shape, these slits are going to be wider apart than the two inner slips. These are sh closer in distance and that's just in respect to the way the curvature is of the float tube. So what I've done is I've simply marked little dots to where the uh, the slits in the float tube line up with the rod holder. I've done that on the top and the bottom of the rod holder. I scribbled on some um, some guides on both the top and the bottom and they're about the width of the strap. See that? So what I've done is I've drilled three to four holes um, consecutively to make a slot for this backpack strap to fall through. Now the holes, um, they're not perfect. You can use a file to fix any of the imperfections, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, if it's jaggedy, you may want to scrape some of the edges off, but it, it shouldn't be a big deal. So now it allows the backpack strap to go through the rod holder. I'm going to drill four similar holes on this rod holder to support it up against my float tube. I got the uh, four holes drilled through the rod holder. Just finishing up putting that last strap through these holes. All right, so there we got two different straps. We got one strap, two straps. So I've put the f two straps through the first holes that I created on the back. They go all the way under the flow tube. And then they come back around up through the middle through the other two slits that uh, that you've cut. And now the ends are all meeting in here within the pocket to which the uh, second back rest chamber resides. You have them hanging in here. Now let's finish up the clip part. Once you have that all nice and tight and snug up against the flow tube, you can tighten these buckles just like you would a backpack strap and it'll stay nice and snug against your float tube. Okay, I'm not really digging this plastic up against my float tube. I'm not even sure that that's going to create any problems. Um, you know, there's not going to be much pressure between the two. 
but uh, I'm going to find a solution to that and the idea I have is to put this rubber adhesive back but rubber uh, textile kind of in between somehow and create a barrier between the plastic and the fabric. Alright so what I did was I ended up cutting this into like an H shape and that's going to once I peel this adhesive part off I'm going to lay it like that and then these will wrap down like so on both sides once these are once these are wrapped down I'm going to take a zip tie and just place it over the top and uh, zip tie it all together so that the H really stays in place all right it's on there zip ties are zipped now it's time to just clip the zip here we have all four mounted adhesive uh, rubber pieces they all have the zip ties on the back now remember this is how I've designed it uh, so that it's comfortable against my flow tube there are many other options out there you could simply buy some of that foam um, that you use for bikes you know to protect that metal framing uh, that same foam you can cut in a very similar fashion and just maybe electrical tape uh, wrap it around and, and have it nice and snug against the water holder um, you could probably get an old towel um, and do the same thing maybe zip tie an old towel around around here to, to do s something very similar and we're gonna see what the uh, final project looks like it came out pretty nice it's still move uh, you can still move it so you can adjust it tighten the straps and you can adjust it higher on your float tube but for the most part it sits pretty nice I'm very satisfied with the project uh, I'm definitely gonna make use of it um, again if you guys have any uh, comments or suggestions on how to make this better please feel free to add it to the bottom of the video please share any ideas you have with the rest of the anglers out there um, again be good to each other and we'll catch you next time you know where to catch me on Instagram and on Facebook See you guys.